It's about to be another, another hot girl summer. We finna have another one. Hey you guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieved this look. During quarantine, I haven't really had a reason to get done up or put on makeup or anything like that other than getting on camera. So I figured that this was a really, really simple look that you could do just to be cute in the house or just to look put together in the house. Or when you go out and do your essential shopping, if you wanna be a bad bee, then go ahead, sis. Like, this is the look for you. It's really, really simple. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and do it now. I'm waiting on you to subscribe. All right, so first things first, we are going to start on the hair. I have already kind of just wet my hair with some water and conditioner and also took some eco and just kind of put it around like the crown of my head. But in order to do the two little pieces in the front, I make like a small part like right here in the middle. And I try to get it straight just because it makes the look more like clean and polished looking to me. And then I just part down in like a diagonal. And you want enough hair that it's not like scraggly, but not too much hair to where it's like, okay, girl, you got a whole nother ponytail down here. Pull those two pieces out like that. So that looks like it'll be fine. So I basically just made a triangle in the front of my head. I'm just gonna quick little band two nut. Okay, I'ma look crazy for a little bit because I'm just clipping it right there. But yeah, so the rest of the hair, you just wanna take it and pull it up into a bun. You don't want it to be like right on top of your head, but like, kinda like where you would do a high ponytail. Just like still at the back, but not like in the center of your head. I don't know if I explained that correctly, but y'all will see the positioning of mine. So like I'm pulling everything up and then just take a hair band and put the hair into a ponytail. I like to wrap it around like three or four times just because I like for my ponytail to be very secure. So we got our ponytail at the top. This is where we're gonna be attaching our bun. But for now, what I'm gonna do is, I don't be trying to put all of this into one big twist. So what I like to do is I like to just wet it a little bit and then I get that all through the hair and I separate it into two separate pieces. And then from those two pieces, I kind of wet it again and then I use my dimming brush to kind of brush it out just to make it a little bit more manageable. But as you can see, like my hair is not soaking wet. Like I'm not working with super wet hair. So I just take it and I twist this side up into one twist. And then I do the same thing with the other half of the hair. This is just what's easier for me. If it's easier for you to just put it all into one big twist, then by all means. So then I'm going to take one twist and kind of, well, I'll take both of them and just kind of like twist them up until I can get
I know for me, I have been watching Law and Order every single day. Law and Order SVU. I've made it to season 10. Like, I'm on season 10 of Law and Order. Give me one moment. Brows are finished. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. palette that I found at Target. It's like a bite size version so i'm assuming that there's a larger version of the palette but i just found the bite size version it was like three dollars i'm just doing like a like a quick little like soft i'm not even gonna say soft glam it's just gonna be a soft look period like just something something that you can do real quick because mm -mm, girl you got time so on my morphe m504 i'm just going to take this brown color right here and i'm going to use that as a transition shade and just get that working i don't think that they have names of them no yeah they don't have the like names of the shades on here it's going to be a really simple look like we're not doing no cut crease and all of that like when i say simple simple i mean simple simple look so now that we have that transition shade in there i'm gonna take my morphe m518 brush and i'm going to dip into that kind of darker brown right here um it's got kind of like red reddish undertones or like red vibes to it and i'm just gonna get that like right in that outer corner and kind of blend it a little bit into my crease but not go all the way in look at that that's very nice same thing on the other side. Y'all even got a little bit more on this side. Then I'm just gonna take like a flat little shader brush and I'm gonna dip into this lighter shade right here and I'm just gonna put that right on the lid. Then after that, I'm just gonna go in with that first brush, that M504, dip a little bit into that first shade again and you know, get all the excess off and then just blend and there we go that's it for the very simple simple eye look i thought that was really really cute so this is the nyx liner in milk it's white oh yeah okay i look like a monster so so next i'm going to take this maybelline lash sensational it uh, says it's a full fan effect so child we gonna see I'm just gonna hit my my natural lashes before I add false lashes. I actually like to define my bottom lashes, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I'm crazy about the white liner. I was really just trying something, y'all. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes off camera and then we'll get back into the video. Okay, so I went ahead and added my lashes. They look really, really big on camera, y'all. But I promise, like, I'm looking at myself. I'm not sure why they're coming off like this on camera, but the show must go on, okay? I also went ahead and kind of like put black eyeliner over that white eyeliner because it just was, it just, I just kept on looking at it and it just wasn't what I wanted. But anyway, so next we're going to move on to our face. So I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I have heard that this is a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I've never used that. I mean, that's a bit out of my price range. So we're gonna see. Oh, it feels really good. And it definitely has like that blurring effect. Okay, child. People be sleep on e.l.f., okay? Because e.l.f. got it all. Yeah, I like how this feels not super sticky it just has that like mattified blurred feel to it kind of like how the professional primer feels it feels like that like it has that same consistency i guess like feeling on the on your skin next i'm gonna take this l'oreal infallible 24 hour foundation i'm using the color 510 child i don't know the name but it's just the color 510 i know that they definitely have names though because I saw the name when I was buying it at the store. I guess now now it's just 510. So I'm gonna take this on my Sonia Kashuk brush. Ooh, was I supposed to shake this? Cause girl, you are watery. And just get that on. Oh yeah, it's a little thicker once you shake it. It's my first time using this foundation. So now that we have the foundation on, I really like it. Like I like the coverage. I think it looks really nice. It says it's up to 24 hour wear, but we're not gonna be testing that because I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm, I'm about to get in bed. Cause I gotta get up for work. 
I'm gonna take that same Fit Me Concealer in the number 30 and I'm going to conceal, don't feel. I need all the highlight everywhere. Give it to me. I also went ahead and picked me up some new um, Sonia Kashuk blenders also. I have two of these, but all the Sonia Kashuk stuff was 15% off at Target. So, and I'm gonna take just some setting spray. I have the NYX Matte Finish setting spray. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, my old ones don't feel nothing like this no more. Nothing like this <laughs> anymore. They're super like soft. These are like firm and not in a bad way, like just blended out. This concealer, it seems to dry up pretty quickly. And I don't know how I feel about that because I put all of it on at once. So while I'm doing this side, this side drying up like, and then it leaves those like marks on your face. Uh-uh. really want to get this clip out of my head like this <laughs> okay now concealer is all blended out um so next i am going to contour and for that i will be using this black radiance soft focus finishing powder i typically like to stick to the fenty but i figured because everything else was kind of like drugstore and kind of I guess less expensive side I don't think that Fenty is expensive at all but I wanted to make sure that everything could be purchased you know at a drugstore so I'm just gonna take my regular contour oh okay so it's a lot of fallout so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna go in kind of minimal and then build it up cuz see I don't got time okay yeah that's a lot and I feel like I need a fluffier brush for this. So I'm just gonna get something fluffier and kind of buff this out. I'm just gonna get take a fluffier brush um, and kind of buff this out a little better because it was just like a streak just now. Yeah, I don't see this being something that I would use regularly, but it's what I have or what I've got right now. Oh, girl. Mm -mm. Take that concealer and blend you out, baby, because mm -mm. now for my forehead, I'm just going to tap ever so slightly. I don't need my forehead looking. Ooh, tap, just a little tap, because this is pigmented, baby. Even just tapping it right now, like, I don't like that. Then I am going to take the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. I am using the color Banana, which is their like lightest one. I think they only have three. After that finishing powder, I've learned my lesson with Black Radiance because they don't play with the pigment. So I'm just gonna take like a, like a, a different brush instead of taking my Beauty Blender and putting it in, I'm going like putting it on, I'm gonna take this on a brush and pat it off and then just tap it on to where it's going. That's what we got because I'm scared of black radiance child because whew. So next um, for highlight, I'm gonna be taking this Milani Trio. So there are three different shades on here. I'm going to take this middle shade and use that just because I prefer more golden um, looks as far as my highlight. So I'm just gonna take that on like this fan brush and just, whoop. oh, now I like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3 and I'm just going to line my lips. I really like this liner. I want one that's just a tad bit darker than this. Just a tad. So now that I have the lips lined, I'm gonna take this Crayon Case Gloss in the color Clean Kisses. It's just a really nude, pretty like pinky nude. 
Okay, so that is it for the face. Now we are going to move back to the hair so that we can go ahead and finish this look up. All right, I zoomed you guys back out so that we could go ahead and finish the hair. So I went ahead and took my two little like dangly pieces down, but we're not even about to work with that for real right now. So I'm just gonna take this hair. It is some just old like deep wave hair and I actually take the weft and I put it in, I fold, girl, I can't talk. I take the weft and I fold it in half um, just so that I'm not sitting here wrapping it around my ponytail for 24 hours. So once I have the weft folded, I take the like split side, I guess you could call it, and I put that like on my bun and then I bobby pin that. I try to use as little bobby pins as possible because I really don't like them like sticking in my head at nighttime. Once I have that bobby pinned, I just take the rest of the hair and I wrap it around my bun, like my natural bun. Typically, I prefer a very full bun, so I would use probably two bundles but for the sake of the video I'm only gonna be using one because you really just need enough to like cover up your natural hair to be totally honest so now that I have that one wrapped all the way around I take another bobby pin I just stick that into the end and the thing that I love about this hairstyle is that I don't have to like worry about you know taking no hair out and like wrapping it around I just want to be quarantine cute that's it so I just make a bun at the top of my head and it doesn't have to be perfect curly hair is already kind of messy in its own way anyway so I just take the ends of the hair and I bobby pin those so that's a total of three bobby pins that I've used and those are like kind of all the bobby pins that you really need to use uh, like to stick to your actual head now once I have the bun up here um like this piece right here kind of like hanging in the back I may take a bobby pin and just like pin this into the the bun not into my head if that makes sense so just to get stuff to really like lay down and to get it into the shape that I want you may have to use more or less bobby pins it really depends on you and how you prefer for your bun to look this looks fine to me and i think that this style this hairstyle is really like on trend and a lot of people are doing it right now but a lot of people are doing it with like the very very like tight buns but for me personally because i am natural i feel like it just looks better for me to do it this way um my camera's dying so i'm just gonna go off camera and like curl these real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I did go ahead and curl my two little front pieces. I really, really love this style. I think it's super simple and it's super cute for the season. When, when, we, when we go back outside, it's a hot girl summer, for real. Okay, it's about to be another, another hot girl summer. We finna have another one. But anyway, <laughs> this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.